Which generation created the best snacks of all time? Let's talk about that. Our generation. Good mythical morning. For as long as there have been generations of people, Ours. people have been fighting about which generation is the best. Oh, that sounds like something you put on a bumper sticker. A really long bumper uh -huh. sticker. Well, think about it. Baby boomers are always saying back in my day, millennials are always in a constant state of 90s nostalgia. Okay, that's true. Uh, so today, we're gonna find the definitive answer on which generation is the best. Mm -hmm. When it comes to snack, creation, meaning which generation originated the best snacks? And specifically in this episode, Ours. we're going to be uh, tasting chocolate snacks mm -hmm. so that if we like this format, we can do it again with other types of snacks. You know how we think about it. That's things. how we do. Yes, mm -hmm. and we have a special guest judge joining us today, stepping in to represent a generation other than ours in the name of fairness. That's right. It's the host of the award-winningly weird podcast, Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, the big Myrtle Beach boomer himself, my dad. Hey, dad. <laughs> what? Hey, how y'all doing? Doing good. <laughs> you like snacks? Oh, Dude, yeah, is I his like hair? Snacks. Does he have a mullet? His I dad has a mullet. About okay, but I like his snacks. dad is literally. <laughs> <laughs> wait, okay, okay. So we just started watching this last week. I don't know who put this in there, but this dude's name is Red. He's like a Sasquatch dude. Uh, he's usually always stoned, and I feel like Link occasionally gets stoned. We felt like they were also like youth ministers like they had a like a christian youth minister vibe but they were very funny uh it's a very confusing kind of thing for me <laughs> and like they they're they're they are funny they are funny and they do have an interesting format so i'm going to keep going interestingly enough the dude on the right in the blue with the hair the the, the upwards hair uh, his, his dad has a mullet, his name, this dude's name is Link, and, and, uh, he's also kind of witty. You, what? So you don't it, love chocolate? Let's the just dad say, having a I, mullet I like is hilarious. It, I don't love it. So I'm gonna be a good judge, see, I'll be straight in the middle with you, I won't have no there, well, How many generations are we going here? All these chocolate things. <laughs> that, dad, that's exactly what I say. People complain about how I don't what, like these, what, I'm like, that makes me right in the middle, I'm preferential. Right in the middle? Yeah, prefer just like Dad <laughs> said, we're, we're right in the middle, that, preferential. I will choose to see this in a charitable way, but at least you like chocolate. If you, if you didn't like chocolate, <laughs> I like that chocolate. Just, I mean, what this kind of even snacks? more difficult than it already is. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, what do it's we got It's time here? for <laughs> Snack in my day, chocolate uh -huh. edition. Okay, all right. Okay, boys, here's how this is gonna go. I know, gonna it's totally Dana Carvey. It's totally Dana Carvey, Five dude. different generations and give each generation a rating between one to 10. <laughs> the snacks from each you. generation were yes. carefully selected to represent the fullest gamut of chocolate snack types possible. The winner will be crowned the best generation in the whole wide world. Course, this is definitive ours, and ours. no one can say generation, anything about it, specifically X. when talking about chocolate snacks. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to write that down. And uh, it's my understanding that we don't have any snacks. But that's from Gen what we Z think. That's what we think. His name's Link Starlet, but he looks like David offer. Carvey for real. What do you say? What do you say? They have, quote, it's my understanding that we don't have any snacks from Gen Z because they have, quote, nothing to offer. <laughs> oh! I've been told that Gen Z really hasn't invented any notable chocolate snacks. So oh, that's what you meant. Oh, you are burn. Gen, they're just Gen consumers. Z. Yep. They're just Ooh. consumers. They're not producing anything. Sorry. Right, Dad? Uh, Red, what's a, what's a Fire. Z and G or whatever you say? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know. I love hey, him. Listen, I love not that call myself a Z and G. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get, let's just get going. Z and G, I like that. I like that. I like that. That's All right, fun. first up are the snacks created in the greatest generation. Mm, okay. And we do have a special message from that oh. time period to plead their case. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, boys. The name's Mildred Vanderstuffem. You name it, I stuff it. And I'm always down for a good time. So if you were born between 1901 and 1927, then you are from the greatest generation. And let me tell you, things were great. After a night out hey dancing there. to the devil's music, you could come home to these divine chocolatey snacks. Oh, Take a bite out of an Oreo to forget the looming dread of war. 
Oh, if the Spanish blues got you down, try a hostess cupcake. <laughs> You're still gonna die, but hey, it's a living. Maybe you're a cheeky fella who'd like a Hershey's kiss from a mobster's widow. Is that how old Oreos are? Yeah, gentlemen. The greatest generation has got what you need. You're still gonna die, but it's but it's a living. I like that joke. <laughs> That's no, I'm gonna start cool. with a Hershey kiss here. Yeah, I, this Foil is totally wrapped, bad sketch. You're right, nipple dude. shaped, iconic, iconic, very nipple iconic. Shaped. Nipple but shaped. Let's be I do like the nipple. I never shape go back the Hershey to kiss. The chocolate from just a straight Hershey's. It's, it's not that great. Like I know people are gonna get mad at me, but he's right. Like like for some reason Hershey's is good chocolate, but like in the Hershey kiss form, it's not like amaze balls chocolate. It ain't great. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I don't love a Hershey's kiss. I kind of like it, but there's so much better chocolate now. It's just it's chocolate. Good with almonds. Does that mean you're right Listen, down? Hershey's is only really good with almonds. If you put almonds with it, it totally changes the chocolate, in my opinion. The middle? They were pretty good. Okay. I mean, we're learning new things. You put an maybe almond in like that chocolate. Hershey's, you're yeah, fine. Maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> after I all do. these years. Hostess now, the cupcakes, Hostess though. cake, when this thing first came out in 1919, it had no squiggle icing or... Listen, and they don't make them like they used to. Let me tell you what. In the 80s, they made that shit, like, spongy, and the icing wasn't, like, fucking cardboard. It was it was much better in the 80s. The, 80, the 80s version of the Hostess cupcake was a much spongier, more delicious, more cream-filled beautifulness, you know? And, and I would highly recommend the other color cupcake that they do that I don't even know what to call it. it it's almost like it's an orange or something. So if you're going for the Hostess cupcake... Believe it or not, don't go with the chocolate because you can get this in a ho ho. You can get this in a ho ho. But the orange version, right? Mad style, right, dude? Thank you. Can I get a name, man? Mad style knows what I'm talking about. You know, and they were they tasted so much better. Like a lot of the old school jams that I like are gone now in the way that I used to know them. And the and the Hostess cupcake is example number one of that cream filling whoa that's shocking but we're gonna give them benefit of the doubt and judge it with it man that's you a did, complete meal you just kind of remember cream icing cake how fakey it tastes it did have i a like fake the name. fakiness like the it's, fake yeah, chocolate the it chemical out. it's very yeah. comforting to me it's super nostalgic I don't know, I don't, but i'm trying to just it's judge it on its it own. is nostalgic well, i like the hostess cupcake with the cream in the middle i love this dude i love this dude i love this dude you like a little cream in the middle yeah well, I, th this should be rhett's dad like i feel this should be sasquatch's uh dad not link's dad i just this is a little this weird. is a very creamy generation don't make this weird dad because they <laughs> they put they put cream in the oreos they put cream in the cupcake they probably try to figure out a way to put cream in the kiss so we're rating on one to ten across all three of these and oreo i mean this is one of the most ubiquitous Cookies of all time. Well, to have a glass milk, of milk to milk, dip it in. Milk. That is your house, Dad. Don't you milk. have any milk? Yeah, I got some. Gotta have milk. But too late now. <laughs> yeah, it's a great taste on its own, but it is, you can use it in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. You can crumble it up, you can put it in ice cream, you can put it in a milkshake. It's still around, it's still very relevant. One of the greatest cookies of all time. Oreo is doing a lot of heavy lifting for this generation, yep. in my book. So, on a scale of one yeah, to ten, I would agree I'm, with that. I'm gonna give it a six. Oh, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm only going to give it a five because yeah. I just think accurate. this is not great I'd chocolate. I'd say six. Yeah, I agree with Link. This is super fakey, and the Oreo's great, but everything else is bringing it down. So I'm only going to give it Dude, a Dude, these two forget. These two forget. They grew up in the 80s. Shame on them. They forget the way that it used to taste, man. I'm just I'm just telling you. The the Hostess cupcake Shame. in the 80s Shame. was not the Hostess cupcake Shame. of today. Most foods are not the, 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 the foods of... of that day, man. Like, they've changed everything. They've changed the recipes on everything. Look at Pop-Tarts. Dudes, in the 80s, Pop-Tarts had the icing wrap all the way around. And there was more filling, man. Like, yeah, it's all fake and chemical. It's probably even more fake and chemical back then. But God bless those fake chemicals, man. The original Pop-Tart, the cinnamon Pop-Tart, the old school 80s cinnamon Pop-Tart was my jam, dude. The icing went all the way around and the inside just baked deliciously. And it was more, oh, it's so warm and delicious, man. Yeah, a little glass of milk with that. Poof, man, forget about that. 
five. You now it's terrible. For me. It's, I had already wrote down they, my they, score. They, the icing said doesn't even go oh, across yeah, the top like the anymore. Work, but it was a six. <laughs> <laughs> See? So you basically just canceled yourself out. Well, actually, no. I guess you guys... Uh, no, we're going to add our numbers yeah, up. you're adding it together. Okay. All right. Silent generation. Dear Rhett and Link, <laughs> Boy, it sure is swell to be part of the silent generation. Between 1928 to 1945, a strapping lad like myself might write a letter trying to recruit you to the U.S. Navy. But today, I'm recruiting you to love our chocolate snacks. Take the Snickers bar, for example. After all, Snickers wow. was the name Ooh, of the first so girl good. I was ever sweet on. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you'd prefer a Tootsie Pop, which so happens to be the name of my current girlfriend back I home. I didn't know Snickers Ooh. was that old. Wow, yeah. But the real prize of our generation is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, oh. which so happens to be the name Oh, you're talking with the champ right there. Yes, the Reese's Peanut yeah. Listen. Yeah. Dude, you're talking with the champ. I didn't realize this was back from the 20s, dude. Reese's, of course it had to be. That was the generation, dude. There were some rip-roaring parties back in the 20s right before the Great Depression, man. Did you guys, what's that movie with DiCaprio? It's a book. It's a book. It's a, uh, oh, what's the name of it? And he's got the champagne, the meme, the meme with him in the champagne glass, for God's sake. What's the name of that movie? It's a, it's a book as well. I can't think of it. But that was the 20s. It makes sense. Gatsby. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was Gatsby. It was Gatsby. Interestingly, he was also in Titanic, which was, I think, from the t- same time p- uh, period, Chrono. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, like, wow. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Snickers from the 20s. That's so cool. That's so cool. With my overseas gal. Oh. Anyways, nice. it's time for bunk inspection. So I've got to eat these lickety split. Just remember, we want you to pick the silent generation. Oh, dude. Right, fingers. Damn, dude. Damn. He did a lot of those. Wow, that pieces. overseas girl. Oh. I never thought about that. <laughs> what, Dad? That guy's kind of strange, ain't he? He was strange. Yeah, yeah. I, he was writing so fast. He has a type, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, definitely yeah. has a type. And boy, I mean, Snickers, Reese Cups. Two of the best candies Two ever, ever. Right? Ever. I mean, we already said that the Reese Cup was I, I like agree the with best Red candy on that. ever. That's good. I'm yeah, glad. I agree with him on that. Really hurting us in this generation. Yeah, what do you think? What do you thinking of this Snickers? Well, I'm just gonna tell you, this is probably gonna be the best generation of anything they got with chocolate. Spoiler: If it's got a Reese's cup I in agree. it, it's got my vote. Yeah, I agree. So you're a peanut butter <laughs> man, just sne- like me. And the Snickers. I like Snickers bar because they got some nuts in them too. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> got some nuts in them. You know, it was allegedly named after a horse, and that's not a joke. People think that horses are named after Snickers, but Snickers was named after a horse, so the name Snickers oh, wow. existed for horses before candy I did not horse. know that. I think that's because a horse can snick. Y- y'all keep getting smarter all the time, don't you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right, Dad. Smarter all the time. Yeah. My dad thinks I'm smart. That's the theme of this show. <laughs> mm. Now, the Tootsie Pop here, Tootsie. In, which love, is the incorrect I love this show, man. I love How many this times show. you say it? No one It has two agree. O's in it. T O O T is what? Tootsie. It's Toot. Tootsie. T O O T. You sound like an idiot. Yeah, How do you pop say T O O T S I E, Dad? It's a Tootsie Pop. What, what's the ones? Are the, but what are the ones with the gum in it? Now, what are the, is that a Tootsie? That's not a Tootsie. Uh, that's not a Tootsie. What's the one with the gum? That's the one that's good. Those are my jam. Like the 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 red and blow pops. Oh my god, the blow pops, dudes. I'm not a sucker type of person, but I'll tell you what, if it's a sucker, then it's gotta be a blow pop for God's sake. It's gotta be a blow pop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Starlet, right. Have you never had a blow pop? You, you've been outvoted. <laughs> yeah, that's I not, loved it. That's not how it works. Starlet, Starlet, you gotta decided. try blow pop. I'm gonna give you this would a love chance it. You would love blow pop. I feel pops. so strongly about these other two. This is a good. It actually pop. tastes pretty good. The chocolate flavored ones are good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to a Greek wedding after this and eating baklava. Listen, listen. I will probably have three chins by the time on the next stream. <laughs> so listen, <laughs> and then I'm gonna get healthy again. <laughs> It's all going downhill. Baby, it's all going downhill. Stuff in the middle, Rhett. That's just the only thing about a Tootsie Pop. Don't, don't worry. We're getting rid of them, Sketch. We're getting, I'm getting serious business. Don't worry, buddy. Yeah. I'm going to be a oh. spelt, wonderfully built PG360 by the end of this year. The there's That's two right. perfect ten snacks in this, mm-hmm. and then there's one that is not as bad as you thought pa- it would be. Pavlova? Hold on. Hold on. Starlet says she snacks on Pavlova. I don't even know what that is. I, I have no idea what Pavlova is. Pavlova, hold on a second. Hold on. Where? 
what's going on here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, everything froze up. Everything froze up. All right, all right. My computer. See, my computer's breaking down. Look, look at this. Look at this. Whew, something bad's happening to my computer. Something bad's happening. That's never a good sign. Pavlova. What is the difference between a meringue and a pavlova? Why have I never heard of this? A texture lover's dream come true. Pavlova is made from egg whites, so it's like a so it's like a meringue. So it's like a meringue. Is that what it is? I'm totally confused here. Hold on a second. I I have to see if there's any uh, videos here. Of course, nothing's responding. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Sally's baking uh, addiction here. Let's see what we got. Come on. What's going on here? What's going on, computer? There you go. You can do it. Pavlova. Oh. Oh, wow. It's like a creamy, fruity, delicious, like, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I would, what I would drink. Uh, I would definitely drink wine with this or, or some type of uh, champagne. Uh, it's, it, it looks, it looks uh, very sugary, creamy, and sweet. Um, is there anything else? It's like, it's just like a creamy fruit. I'm totally interested in this. I am like totally interested in this right now. All right. All right. All right. All right. I have to, I have to, my computer's breaking down. I have to move that screen. Let's get back. Let's get, let's get it. It's meringue with cream and fruit. Whew. What's going on with my computer here, yo? Pepe. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm giving this generation a nine. <laughs> hey, did y'all eat your Reese cup already? Yeah. Damn, where have I been at? <laughs> <laughs> eat it, man. Uh, I'll go back and finish mine. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give this generation a, a, a nice solid eight. Oh, Red, I give it a <laughs> nine and a half. So can he do that? Can one person do that? Charles can do anything he wants. Dad, Stevie just said you could do anything you want. I probably already done anything I want. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're just doing things you you have to. And it's gonna be hard to beat the Silent Generation. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. He's right. Silent Generation. Well, hello there. I'm Dorothy Jenkins. If you were born between 1946 and 1964, then gosh, that makes you a baby boomer. And while you were running around thinking of ways to ruin everything for future generations, your mothers were busy serving you delicious chocolatey snacks, like Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies. Your little ankle biter will fan. choose them over the homemade cookies you spent all day baking instead of pursuing your own career. Yeah. Or I know, maybe I love the format. Junior mints, perfect no. for a night in. Terrible generation. Terrible generation. Boom. Terrible Boom. generation. What did they do, Boom. man? What did they do? With the kids watching Howdy Doody for the thousandth time while your husband is working late with his secretary. <laughs> and if that doesn't tempt you, how about some M&Ms? Their perfect little chocolates Chrono. coated in a hard candy shell reminds me of the shell Stop, of a woman man, I've become. <laughs> I'm just joshing. I love being a woman in the 1950s. Is that, when the, is that the era that Pavlova was created? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, she's Dad, a, what, she was hiding a lot there. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is your generation, Dad. Well, that woman's that woman's still mad too today. <laughs> <laughs> she's still mad. Which one do you want to try first? We're gonna follow your lead this time. The cookie. And we're starting with the chips ahoy. A nice sailor theme. I mean, let's be honest about these cookies compared to any cookie that you could have. Not a great cookie. There's not so many cookie. better cookies. Yeah, we're like we're like cookie. in a cookie renaissance right now, you know. And then you have this, and you're like, yeah. You want to go to M and M's next? Yeah, that'll be fine. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> the dad in the background. I want to know what dad thinks of M and M's because I know this is this is controversial. I agree with that, Matt. I, I agree with like that. Peanut M and M's. It's not. It's not right. hard to trump the, chips ahoy. The regular M and M's like these. 
I ain't too crazy. Yeah, this about is a them. terrible. They stuck terrible around generation. for a really long time. I think they suck, but they're not. I'm a dad on them. They're, yeah. they're not a great candy no, in the no. pantheon of candies, but they don't suck. They wouldn't be one of the most. No. I will tell you, it's because this generation in that age, in the 50s, they wanted to go like super futuristic. George Jetson, like make little snacks that were like on the go. Like, you know, just just make the, the most utilitarian types of candy ever. And they turned out all very bad. They they all turned out very bad. Popular candies for 100 years. This is very suck. terrible. Let's go with Junior Mints. Junior Mint is the hidden gem in this what? generation. I don't know that I've ever had this. No. How have you never had a Junior What's Mint? What's up, bro? your this pal? Like the thing to have at the movie theater. Compact, well, I ate right, one, but right, I don't like right, mint. Kinda. So, y'all. That's genetic. Green it, M&M's. <laughs> M&M's, I mean, are, are a classic. You don't like but mint or like, chocolate. I don't buy and that's why M&Ms I've never had the these. Store. I was like, I knew I wouldn't like it. But you know, now that I've had it, I got to Every be- once in a while, the M&M with the peanuts. Every once in a while, the M&M with the peonuts, but never the regular be honest, M&M's. I kind of like it. Oh, you do? Yeah. You have been coming around to mint chocolate things. Yeah. You even said that about mint chocolate chip ice cream. That's my, that's my new thing, Dad. I'm expanding as a person, and you can too. Try another mint. And I'm not trying another one because I don't like it. Okay, yeah. fine. I agree. Fine. With him. <laughs> I'm not tenable. Um, He's like, I'm not yeah. even going to have another I am one. That's how I'm thoroughly bad it disappointed is. in your generation, Dad. Yeah. This sucks. Yeah. And it you sucks. seem to agree with me. Yeah. I cannot go above a four. Yeah. I ha- He's so I already right. had mine wrote down. Mine's yeah. a four, too. He's from that generation, and he also you says You guys it are sucks. redundant. Redundancies are a good thing in engineering. Okay. If one of us goes, same star. Bring same. in the other one. I think that the junior mints are doing more Andy's for me than good they're doing for mints. y'all. Yes. The M and M's again. Oh, they stuck around for a long restaurant. time. You they're get a great you know? They can be incorporated. That like I'm not a big mint kind. Of, like I like like if like I'm crazy. Like with, with the only type of mint I like is in my tea. I love mint tea, peppermint tea, like really good peppermint tea, fresh, delicious peppermint tea. That's how I like my tea. A little bit of honey, you know, stir it up a little bit. Delicious. I kind of feel like one now. Pepe, <clears throat> I know this is coffee, but I'm going to pretend it's tea. Hold on a second. Mm. That is way too hot. Holy God. I just burnt my tongue, Pepe. What are you doing? That's the wrong temperature. Whew. And the other way I like mint, besides the tea, ah, <laughs> I think I lost a couple layers of my tongue. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, the other way I like mint are on those Andes mints that Coob's talking about. Those Andes mints, you notice, Coob, they only give them to you at, like, very fancy restaurants or Mexican restaurants. Like, Mexican food, you'll see the Andes mints. They'll break out the Andes mints at very expensive kind of restaurants. They'll break out the Andes mints. Uh, the, any type of restaurant that, that wants to give, like, a, 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 a good impression always has the Andes mints at the end of it. Ooh, thin mints? I don't know about that. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. Girl Scout cookies? You know one of the Girl Scout cookie stunner? And I think you might agree with me. Are the um, the Samosas. Yeah, the Samoas. 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 Yeah, the Samoas, dude. Thank you, Fingers. I was going to say the round car- caramel one. I couldn't think of the name of it. The round caramel pinwheel one are the Samoas. Oh, my God. The Samoas are, are the jam. The Girl Scout cookies, that's it. There is no other. Those dry peanut butter motherfucking ones, who's eating those dry peanut butter cookies? Like, And, and those lemon ones, who's eating those? The thin mint one, ones, the mint ones, okay, I can give you a pass on that one, but I'm not going to that one stunner. But like those Samoas, fingers, fingers and I are on the same page as is per usual. Those Samoas are like, boom. Now, Irritated says the Thin Mints need to be stacked into your mouth for proper etiquette tasting. So I probably will try that. I actually have a box of them in my in my cupboard right now, which I will eat all of them, Sketch. I'm eating every single one. I'm going to have seven chins when you see me next. Until I think <laughs> these cookies suck. What's up? Six. <laughs> Got a boodish. That still hurt. How you I mean, doing, buddy? It's not great. We all Good agree you that street. your generation sucks, Dad. Yep. Well, they didn't have me inventing cookies and snacks, so that's the reason they yep. suck. <laughs> they did have been a lot better. Should have asked my dad. <laughs> You've all right, Generation X, don't let me down. Finally did. Listen, listen, don't break me down and don't let me down. Uh, <laughs> but don't break me down either. Generation X, bring it. Bring it, Generation X. It, we remade the hair song now with my it's hair a long going drive, down and my hair going, going up. up. And, of course, we put it on vinyl. Yeah. Okay, wait a second. The first time I saw these guys last week, I said that the dude's hair went down and the other's one went up. What the hell? They got a song 
They got a song. They got their singing an album. What, they got a, they got an album of songs. You can get it as a third degree mythical society member, joint third degree <laughs> what? quarterly by or annual by June thirty. This 30. is what I need to it do. It also has an unreleased get, song on it. I need to put the it original on original hair on song, the new hair song, and then a unreleased single, relevant, never before listened to. That's right. Mythicalsociety.com. No, what no. Details. What generation are we at now? <laughs> Let's check out Generation X. <laughs> Oh, hey, man. I didn't see you there. I'm this Todd is what Brown. people think Generation X is? Yeah. And <laughs> if you were born between 1965 and 1980, then you, my friend, are from Generation X. During this time, we tended to have some chocolate cravings after ingesting a little flower power, if you know what I mean. Thankfully, we had just the snacks to cure those chocolate munchies. No. Did you see a cookie and no. pink? Oh, oh no. man. Twix. Wish this were a tiny girl. Kit Kats are the jam. Well, Kit Kats. Famous. Listen, listen, listen. Can I get an amen for the Kit Kat? Yes, yeah, I can. Stop. Get an amen. But anything yeah. else down there, I don't know about Twix. My daughter likes Twix. I'm not a Twix dude, but I do like the Kit Kat. Tiny cookie. Well, Famous Amos made that Famous possible. Amos was decent. <laughs> it's adorable. Famous Amos is decent. It beat Chips Ahoy, that's for damn sure. Or maybe you need something a little smoother. Something it's, that right, you right of fingers. The, the Kit Kat universe. was the Kit Kat's the up there. The Kit pudding. Kat's up there for me. Yep, that makes sense. The snack mm. pack pudding, the pudding snack packs, man. I never got into the pudding, man. I never got into the pudding. Whoa! <laughs> and just like our universe, Twix bars have plenty of layers that you can get lost in. You're right. Forever. You're right, irritated. Every once in a while, they forgot to put the cookie in it, and it was just all the chocolate. And you're absolutely right. Why didn't they make God bless you? Yes, sir. You're not going to eat me. Irritated. Yes, irritated sir. says the random Kit Kat without the wafer was a treat. He's right. Every once in a blue moon, there would be like uh, one of the sticks that you break off that would not have the cookie in it, and it would be like all the chocolate. You'd be like, oh, my God. You'd be like, that is so holy. Like, what is going on here? Oh. And I always wondered. I always wondered, irritated, if they just went with, like, Kit Kats without the wafers and they just put the chocolate in there and called it, like, cats or just kits. Just the kits without the cats or just the cats without the kits or cat kits or just cats or just kits. Some of that. Whatever it was, without the wafer, that's what it should be called. <laughs> What's up, Futz? Driving that big rig, bro? Wow. Todd Brown got taken to another <laughs> oh, it's, plane it's of orange. dimension. <laughs> yeah, Mad Style says, oh, my God, he had the orange Kit Kat from the local Japanese import store, and it was the bomb. And let me tell you what. Yes. I had one of those, too. See, Mad Style, Mad Style and I like the orange flavors. You notice Mad Style said this earlier when we were watching this, and we were talking about the Hostess Cupcake being in the orange. Mad Style and I got, like, an orange thing going on. We, we're, 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 you know, we're connecting. With pudding. Is that how you feel about pudding? You love pudding. This is your round, man. I love pudding. Now, does that run in the family, Charles? Uh, no. <laughs> what? Come on, man. Eat right, some pudding. Style, right, I don't dude. know that I've ever I, seen you I'm eat gonna, a little pudding. I, I'm going to eat my cookie first. And I then bet you do, Trip. Do like Ooh. he did and eat some pudding with it. You can mix them together. Famous Amos. I did like the uh, orange dress, Stunner. You're right, Sunset dude. Boulevard I did like Chrissy's Hollywood. orange dress. It's I got an orange enjoy. Jones, man. I got an orange but Jones. That much better. But it's not that much better. The right. Chips Ahoy. But what? I got pudding. Did he just say that the famous Amos cookie was not as it was not as good as the Chips Ahoy? What What did I just hear him say? The famous Amos beat the shit out of the Chips Ahoy. You know, I wouldn't normally buy either. But the famous Amos cookies beat the shit out of Chips Ahoy. Mm. Thing to pick with you. All right. Pudding's not good, bro. It was terrible, Rhett. <laughs> it tastes like a ration of something. It, Seriously, y'all? You like things that taste fake. I'm just going to be honest with you. He does. It tastes so fake. I agree. So manufactured. I don't even know him It should well be inside that. something else. That It should be being carried by something besides a spoon. Directly. It's funny morning, that you're saying Gabe. these things because when it buddy? came Welcome out in 1968, they launched it with a mascot horse. Yeah. Another horse. Horses said, are great mascots. Names. He said, I think he said Famous Amos is not much better than Chips Away. Okay, thanks for the clarification, Cube, saving the day here. It's levels better than Chips Ahoy. I mean, it's levels. It's still not a great cookie. Like, the Famous Amos cookie is not a cookie I'm running to go out and buy, right? But if you're just comparing Famous Amos to Chips Ahoy, 
Famous Amos goes a couple levels above the Chips Ahoy. Just saying. Snack pack, and the horse told children, We're Don't having a play fun with time, Cave. Or us, lick dude. it. Or keep it in your hand. You sure he was talking about the pudding? But yeah, people didn't know what to do with it. Am I supposed to put oh, it in my hand? Uh, 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 what? Oh, wow. I don't know. That made everybody feel uncomfortable. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that that's a little yeah, weird. We're all uncomfortable Link. now. Dad, look, <laughs> oh, look at, look at the comedy no, no. I did. You got some doo-doo oh, yeah. on your hand. You got some doo-doo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, if it hadn't been for the Twix bars, this whole thing would have been a debacle. Twix is, a, <laughs> Twix is great. Very solid. Where's the Twix Kit Kat? Is so good. Is Kit Kat not I don't know there? why, but the caramel. I swear to God there was a Kit Kat under there somewhere. They're going to tell. There Are you telling me? That Generation X has nothing else better than the famous Amos cookie, the Jello j chocolate pudding pop pack, and and the Twix. Are you? Wh wh where's the? When was the Kit Kat invented? Hold on a second. Hold on. When was the Kit Kat invented? Hold on a second. Probably back in the Silent Generation. For God's sake, that'd be crazy. Uh, my computer is not doing anything for me here. 1935. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even from Generation X, man. I thought I saw a Kit Kat under there on that plate, and now I'm completely depressed. If Generation X has no good candy, that's just a complete fail in my opinion. I'm so upset right now. I'm booing myself for God's sake. There's got to be something more representative of Generation X. Boo! I'm completely Boo! upset. Right, Coob, you're right, dude. You're right. They should have gave more breadth to this. They probably had the kiddos picking out the, 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 the different generations candies, and the kiddos don't know. Mel Twix is better than the peanut butter Twix. Mm, that's fine. It was right a there. huge yeah, candy no, time, Chilton. ain't nothing no better than peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> this is not great. Puddin's bringing it down. Famous Amos bringing it down. Twix is helping I out a lot, a but recount. not too much. Five. Well, I give it a four, Red. I'm sorry. But I, yeah, I'm a, I'm no apologies a... needed. Yeah. I'm also I'm giving this one an eight because I was, <laughs> I love pudding. Yeah, and he, it's so great. He really loves. Pudding. I don't know yeah. where I would be yeah. if it was never invented. Like my, I, I would have died as a child because I don't know what I would. I never. I didn't eat anything more than pudding. Do you keep it at the house now? No, but that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. I'm full of them. I stand by it. <laughs> I stand by it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I I don't think that's representative of the '80s here. Let's let's get this over here. Come on here, come on. What's going on, computer? Come on. This my computer's having a seriously bad day today. Okay, bazooka gum, eh, memorable. Uh, candy cigarettes. Pff, I mean, come on. Uh, it's iconic. Uh, they they weren't like they weren't anything amazing to taste they were probably pretty horrible if i remember correctly but also iconic iconic gobstoppers uh the pop rocks also iconic you weren't rushing out to buy pop rocks but they were different also iconic from the 80s let's get let's we're getting real here we gotta we gotta represent a little bit here for god's sake airheads eh, razzles eh, candy necklaces and eh. all these were iconic but not like things i would rush to uh, pixie sticks pixie sticks right right pixie sticks iconic right right wax lips uh, pez pez Pez, also iconic. We created a lot of trends in the 80s. Like, we created a lot. Of, Whoppers was in there, right? Right? Oh, my God. Those, oh, these things are so horrible. These circus peanuts. Jesus Christ, if our generation created that. One time, I, when I was a kid, I was like five years old. I ate all these things just to eat them in spite of myself. I knew they tasted bad. I remember being five, and I was like, these things taste horrible. Now I'm going to stuff all of them in my body. That was my thought process. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see these, I want to vomit because I remember the feeling inside my stomach when I had like all these circus peanuts inside. It was disgusting. It felt like it was chalk and it came up out like orange and chalky. <laughs> it was so bad. And I think it has something to do with my orange Jones. I thought they were going to taste like orange mad style. <laughs> uh, and they did not. And I, and I ate way too many and they came out. Other 80s candies. Uh, yeah, Nerds Tootsie Rolls. Big League Chew. Big League motherfucking Chew, man. When I was playing baseball and I was a kid, it was the Big League Chew. That's what I'm talking about.
that's what I soul sour patch kids. I thought it said soul patch kids. I was gonna I was gonna start. I was gonna love that. That'd have been great. Uh, ju, ju, uh, juji fruits. I don't remember juji fruits. Uh, now and later's payday. Payday. Yes, sir. You're not gonna eat me. Yes. <laughs> payday. Let me wax poetic about the payday for a second. Payday is a very underrated candy bar. That nugget inside of a payday is where it is at. Thank you very much. Can I get an amen and testify? It's a very weird Jones to have, but every once in a while, you've got to have your payday. Yes, sir. You're not going to eat me. Payday. Yes. <laughs> payday should have took a place at that dead goddamn pudding pack. Who who wants those chocolate pudding packs and smeared on the hand like Link, like doo-doo? Nobody. You got to have yourself a payday. Be representative of Generation X. Okay, I've said my piece. I'm done. Yo, yo, yo. I'm Ashley E. Not to be confused with Ashley J. And if you were born between 1981 and 1996, then you're a millennial. And we got the best chocolate snacks in town. Did you ever want to play basketball to get closer to your crush, Jimmy, and then eventually this fall the 90s in love? Commercial, when totally. you were just too hungry? With Dunkaroos, you could do both. Dunk a ruse. Dunk in good time. Or maybe the white frosting. The white frosting and the dunk a ruse was where it was at. The white frosting and the dunk a ruse with the blonde cookie. The no, no, listen to me. It was the blonde cookie with the white icing. You prefer a little magic in your life. With what the are awesome, cookie, Cutter. you can bite into a little elf for What's a up, Walmart? Good to taste. see you, buddy. Welcome home. Or maybe you're a kid who likes a fun surprise. When you snack on a wonder Pink ball, says, please stop you never know what you're going to get. Just Democrat. like when Jimmy said he'd pick me up for prom and then he ditched me for Ashley J. I still love you, Jimmy. Anyway, don't be a buzzkill. Choose millennials or else talk to the hand. Oh, <laughs> talk to the hand. Talk to oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, hey, listen, these are not candies that I'm a regular partaker of, mm -hmm. but I gotta say, the interest factor has gone up significantly. We're not talking about Chips Ahoy anymore, we're talking about little cookies that we dip into chocolate. You ever done this before, Dad? No. That's better than pudding, Link. That is better. Icing than pudding. is better than pudding. The, the no, it's is, not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> icing is too sugary. No, you can't ingest no. nearly as much. And also, Christy says this all the time about icing. There is a clear divide on people with icing. I noticed this a lot. Uh, the The icing is a huge debate. Icing is a huge debate. It's not. Oh, the uh, the vanilla icing with these. Icing is, is delicious. Than the chocolate. That icing is, good, is delicious. I love Look all how forms much of icing. Fudge they put inside this elf. I'm shocked. Good God. Look at that. His name is Rhett, and he does. He looks take. like Sasquatch. Rhett, if you dip it in that icing. Uh-oh. I will point out, you you did say that several times about the Oreo Buttercream. Cookie, so. Buttercream. Oh, I already forgot about Oreo. Now let's Buttercream. break into these Wonder Balls. What? So is, what are it, Wonder Balls? It's kind of like a Kinder what? Egg. Who broke mine? What's a Wonder Ball? Y'all hey, ruined well, the whole experience for me. Link, I totally. got two prizes from this cookie, so... You know it's going to be Obviously, on yeah. up. Right? If, you a, if you get a prize before you eat meat, that's cream. got to be good. That's true. So sexy. <laughs> yeah. Rolls right off the tongue. I, we did not tongue. get prizes. Yo, there's a box. Look. look. They're in the box. They'll give you one. I got a Mario coin. We're going to spend it. I got a coin too. but So it's, it's like a sweet tart. What's inside this thing? <laughs> yeah, eat it. That's the best way to find out. It's pretty good. I don't think he likes it. Well, I, th this thing runt my other cookies, I'm telling you. But, you know, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> All right, so he's runt and ready to go. I know you're excited about this. You like a little gameplay in your in your snacks. This is very tasty. This is very fun. And this is an exorbitant amount of fudge filling. Dude, his dad is totally it eight. like scared. That's how strongly I feel. I love that. I, I gotta give that. it a six. That's hilarious. I gotta irritated. give it a six. I don't think that the sweet tarts belong inside anything chocolate. Well, but I'm like red. I give it an eight too because the two of them was pretty darn good. Even the little cookies that you dipped in the, with the ice in it, you thought one as good as the pudding. It was a lot better than the pudding. Lot better. <laughs> the pudding. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I gotta say, I did not think that the millennials were gonna come this close. Me neither. But wow. after you've tried all wow. of the chocolate that's snacks a shocker. from each millennials. generation, the winner is 
the silent generation with the Snickers, the Reese's, the Tootsie Pops, and they are crowned the best generation in the whole wide world. This is the silent generation wins. Holy God, from the very beginnings of time when candy was just created and formed. <laughs> That was the silent generation. <laughs> and they had Kit Kats. And they had Kit Kats sketch. <sighs> they had Kit Kats. They had Snickers. They had they had Reese's peanut butter cups. Man, those motherfuckers knew what was up. Can we bring them back in a time machine and have them make candy for us, Pepe? Can we do that? I would love that. I would love that. Next. <laughs> 